Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So if you haven't seen any of the tweets or any of the images I posted in my community chat, you will most likely not be aware of the fact that Yuzu Emulator has, once again, gotten a pretty substantial performance increase in this emulator using the latest Canary. Now, what we're looking at right now is Canary 1001, I believe, is the title of it from just yesterday. Now, this build itself was only released about 19 hours ago, and the performance and visual rendering quality is exactly what you can expect if you were using that build yesterday. So the reason I am doing this and I'm showing you yesterday's build is so you can see just how unbelievably impressive the development that's going into this emulator is. So let's just reach Peach over here in her holiday attire. I'm going to turn Mario around and you're going to see that we're going to be getting probably between 32, yeah you can see we're getting 32, 33 frames per second. Okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to transition over to today's Canary build. So yeah, your eyes are not deceiving you, we are indeed running at between 44 and 45 frames per second in-game in Super Mario Odyssey on Yuzu, this Nintendo Switch emulator. As you can see, it's not just standing still as you would have seen in some other emulators that you would get better performance when you stand still and don't do anything. In fact, the opposite is probably true on this emulator. When we're moving around, you can see that we're hitting 52, 54, and at some points in time, we're going to be hitting the frame cap of this game 60 frames per second. So you can see when we stop beside Peach, where previously we were getting about 32 to 34 frames per second, we are now getting anywhere between 50 and 55 frames per second in gameplay. So this area isn't exactly an outlier either. While Cloud Kingdom is one of the least demanding areas in Super Mario Odyssey, at least at this point in time, you are still going to see a fairly substantial performance increase across all kingdoms. Now, it's not only Super Mario Odyssey that's affected by these changes also. If any of you guys remember my very first few videos on rendering 3D in Yuzu Emulator, you will remember that it was One Piece Unlimited World Red that rendered 3D for the very first time in this emulator. While One Piece Unlimited has had very good 3D quality, it has lacked very much so in the performance department ever since it was booting for the very first time. This however has changed enormously in the past few Yuzu Canary builds, let's jump over to some gameplay of it right now. So if you're like me and you've been keeping track of what performance levels were like in the majority of the booting 3D games in Yuzu Emulator, you may or may not be aware of the fact that previous to the last two Canary builds, this game was practically unplayable outside of the main hub village. As you can clearly see on screen, we are now maintaining an absolutely perfectly locked 60fps at all times in gameplay. You are going to see that in these two very strenuous performance areas where I'm fighting these two large bosses with all of these enemies around them, you can still see that we are getting 60 frames per second. In gameplay in One Piece Unlimited World Red, the only situation in which I deviate from this 60 frames per second lock is in the main hub area when looking towards the very center of the town. The reason for this performance drop is kind of unknown to me at this point in time, but I would hazard a guess that it is something to do with the fact that there are a large amount of NPCs in that area of the village. The main reason why I wanted to show off these massive performance and 3D rendering improvements in other games like One Piece Unlimited is the fact that while yes, a lot of people have already got this misconception of the fact that Yuzu Emulator is going to become this Super Mario Odyssey only emulator and that the developers of the emulator itself are only going to concentrate on getting it and it working alone. So while yes, obviously the developers are going to want to get Super Mario Odyssey running on this emulator, they are also working in the background on these other games and improvements in games like Super Mario Odyssey are also going to apply to games like One Piece and tons of other titles that are also available for the Nintendo Switch. So if any of you guys want to try out this latest Canary build, you can find a download link for it on the Yuzu website itself, a link for that will be down in the description. If you also want to help with the development of this emulator both now and into the future, in the description you will also find a link to the Patreon for Yuzu Emulator. I would highly advise that anyone who wants to get involved in the development of this emulator, head on over to their Patreon and pledge to support it. So once again guys, cheers for checking out this video, I hope you guys are all as excited for the future of Switch emulation as I am. Remember to like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all 
future videos from me.